Aptomeres, what are they, how are they produced and why are they useful? That is what we will discuss today. The word aptomere is drawn from the Latin words aptus, meaning to fit, and meros, meaning part. So, part that fits. And this is already our first clue about what they are. Aptomeres are single-stranded oligonucleotides, meaning single-stranded DNA or RNA, that fold into defined architectures and bind to targets, such as proteins, for example, but it can also be other things. In binding proteins, they often inhibit protein-protein interactions and thereby may elicit therapeutic effects such as antagonism. This means that there is a stopping effect of a substance. So they bind and then they stop an effect of that substance. That is one therapeutic effect that they can incur. Aptomeres bind because they fit their targets. So there are a part that fits. That already answers the question regarding what they are and why they are useful. But let us also take a look at how they are produced. To do that, we need to understand SELEX. SELEX stands for Sequential Evolution of Ligands by Exponential Enrichment. Sounds a bit scary, does it not? Don't worry, it is actually quite simple. I'll tell you all about it. It's simply an iterative process to repeatedly find and amplify oligonucleotides that bind to the target molecule. Let me show you the process of SELEX step by step to make it clearer. First, we load a DNA or RNA library into an affinity column containing our target molecule. An affinity column is just a method for separating a biomolecule from a mixture based on something it binds to. In our case, this is the very target molecule. So we put that into the affinity column as well and bind it to the stationary phase. That means that it stays in place. So the target molecule stays in place. Then when we put our oligonucleotides into the affinity column, they slowly flow through the, this column. And the ones that we are looking for are going to get stuck to the target molecules that are in the stationary phase. And they're going to get stuck there into the column. The rest are going to flow right through it and then get discarded. Then we can use an elution buffer or an ex extraction buffer, you can think of it, because it extracts these uh, molecules, meaning it stops them from binding to the target molecule, so they as well get washed out of the column, so we can capture them. And after this, after we have these molecules that we're looking for, we can use polymerase chain reaction or PCR in order to amplify these selected oligonucleotides. Then the product from this PCR is used to repeat the process. Generally, this process gets repeated 6 to 12 times, yielding an approximate of 10 to the power of 6, or in other words, millions of aptomeres. By the way, I found these uh, pictures describing the SELEX process from Base Pair Biotechnology, which is a company that seems to specialize in aptomeres. So I included a link to their website as well in the description. Now, if you would like to know more about how PCR works, since I sort of skimmed through it here, please check out my video on uh, qPCR, where I also explain what normal PCR is. You can watch it by clicking the video displayed on the screen now, until next time.